What's happening? What's up, boys and girls in photography world? Hey! What's up with that crazy voice? I'm like, too much coffee. So anyway, I got a shooting gig sometime in the next. Uh, the plans are in effect. A shooting gig in a museum. Yeah, and I have to use my godlike lighting skills to photograph something very interesting. Oh yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, not really, but kind of, sort of. I, uh, I might actually discover something really neat because it's like a mystery. And I don't want to go into any more details than that. So when I, uh, when I get done with the shooting gig, I will tell you about it and I'll post some images. Um, but the thing is that, you know, all these uh, photography channels out there, they're like uh, taking pictures of hookers. Uh, yeah, um, um, I, I mean models, yes. That's what I meant to say. I meant to say models, not hookers. Mental note, it's models, not hookers. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, blowing smoke up your butt. You know, I made a, a really popular video. I didn't think it'd be that popular. It's called Everybody, I think the name of the video that I made is called Everybody is Lying to You About Where the Money, yeah, that's the name of my video. Everybody is Lying to You About the, Where Money Is in Photography. That's the name of it. Everybody is Lying to You. Not just on YouTube, but in general. I've had a couple of people that took my advice on that, and, well actually many people, a couple of people that contacted me were like, oh my god, you're right, I got these uh, gigs, one person's uh, shooting product photography, another one's shooting for a company, it's not really exciting work, you know, it's not like you're shooting like, uh, you know, a Serena in her Lycra thong, it's like, yeah Serena, like bend, bend over, yeah, bend, bend that way, yeah, stick your butt in there, yeah, yeah, yeah girl, yeah, yeah, yeah girl, yeah, yeah, that's not photography. Uh, well, sure it is. Some people make money. Don't... Nah, you know what? Those hookers, I mean, those those models uh, don't have money. They're not paying for the shots. No. The, the, see, the worst, the, the thing about that sort of photography is, and uh, this is most important, is that uh, everybody that does that sort of work, they give it away for free. <laughs> they do. They give it away for free. It's like, yeah, you know, this, I got I got pictures of Sabrina, and I'm going to pad my portfolio with her soft derriere. Oh, yeah. Bow, bow. Chica, chica. Look at my portfolio. Look at that naked girl. Yeah. That's art, baby. I'm going to hire you. You're my photographer. Uh, <laughs> that person may have no. And I'm even in agreement with the dude with the big hair in New York City. He made some video like a half a year ago basically saying, you know, just because you shoot half-naked chicks doesn't mean you know what the hell you're doing. So on that, we are in agreement. Um, yeah, everybody's lying to you, you know. But, I mean, they are. I mean, everybody's lying to you. Um, even the camera companies do that. I mean, even uh, Fujifilm released a corporate video of someone using the GFX today, and the guy was... Uh, Taking some pictures of some skin, and I don't mean the like you know, bow bow chicka chicka, bow bow, not naked but like sexy. It's like yeah man, that's sexy right there, girlfriend. Oh yeah. Um, the thing is, what do you do with those shots? If you actually ask uh, people that uh, do that, for the, the ones that are honest, okay, not all the dishonest ones. Like look at me, man. If you buy this camera, you're gonna be shooting. Naked pictures of sexy women. Yeah. Liar. You could do that, but you won't be making any money doing it. And then your broke ass is going to be on the street. The money is not there. Uh, <laughs> I said this in a live stream. And I'm going to quote Darren Miles. He's a photographer down in, in uh, Key West, Florida. I said something in a live stream like, everybody's lying to us. There's no money shooting, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> women. Uh, like that, you know, there's like a very, very, very small percentage of people make money doing it. Very. It is minuscule. If you take 100% of working professional photographers, it is far less than 1%. Far less. And Darren was like, yeah! <laughs> he said, so, I forget exactly what he said, but it's something that amounted to like, yeah, man! Tell it like it is. I mean, he was agreeing with me. 
he does, uh, he's a hardcore architectural and a real estate photographer, and he does weddings and portraiture, and he's a real cool, laid-back, honest dude. He's, uh, he's like Beaver Cleaver honest, and that's not sarcasm. That's not making fun of him. I grew up watching Beaver Cleaver. That show, show was older than me, but I remember watching it. You know, Beaver Cleaver was a really honest dude, and, uh, very rare to find these days, right? Uh. But that's not where the money is. Anyway, I've had a couple people contact me that took my advice. And they were thanking me. It's like, oh, you know, I'm shooting uh, for this company. And one person is shooting product photography. And I'm like, man, this is easy. I'm sitting here in my underwear watching TV and eating Cheetos and taking pictures of, like, funky little devices and jewelry and gadgets. And, I mean, hell, I mean, whatever pays the money, you know. if you, It's about time. I mean, you know. It's photography. I mean, if you want to build up a light table and start taking pictures of sex toys or something like that, I mean, who gives a damn, you know? It's like, it's money. I'm sitting here in my underwear watching uh, uh, watching a CNN or whatever the hell it is you watch on TV and, like, taking pictures of whatever the hell, widgets or sex toys or medical equipment or sometimes medical equipment or sex toys. <laughs> I'll edit out that later. So that's where the money is in photography, girlfriend. You see, the fat guy with the tattoos and the bald head, with a personality that a lot of people don't like, uh, he's telling you the truth. And that's the way it is, brother man. Uh, I told you in that video that was really... I didn't think that video would be so popular. But it turned out to be crazy popular. That one of my best gigs, I wish I could do gigs like that all the time, was taking pictures of a dump in Daytona Beach. I was being paid... An insane amount of money. I was being paid 500 bucks an hour. After I got done doing uh, the processing of the film and the printing, I was shooting a Pentax 6.7. Yeah, manual focus lens, big ass medium format camera, hanging outside of a chopper, taking pictures of a dump. A dump. A dump. Because the guy that uh, hired me to do that, uh, he was a, uh, a real estate person. He was going to sue uh, the dump, and he needed pictures uh, for court. And uh, we hovered, flew around uh, that dump several times, and he came by the place where I worked at, at which at the time was A1A Photo. Um, it's on the mainland side of Daytona Beach, which is where I went to photography school, and he picked up his uh, negatives, and he picked up his... Uh, prints, and, uh, you know, he gave me the cash. He's like, man, that's some hardcore money right there. He's like, y you hear anybody bragging on YouTube in photography? They're talking about stuff like that? Nope. Nope. That's not glamorous. What's glamorous is taking pictures of hookers. I mean models. Ah, why can't I get that right? Models. Say it again. Models. Okay, there we go. Models. M starts with an M. Models. Uh-huh. Models, yeah, okay. Not, not an H, doesn't start with an H, starts with an M, models. That's where the money is at. And uh, it is not glamorous, but it is, uh, it uh, makes the cash register go ting-a-ling, ting-a-ling, ting-a-ling. And it's easy, too. If you got the skills, you got the gear, you know, you could do it half asleep. So there's where the money at. Here be the truth of real photography. You know, a lot of things, you know, like movies, it's like, that shit ain't real. You know, like Mythbusters are always busting crap in movies. That ain't real. Same thing with all these uh, knuckleheads. These uh, pseudo-intellectual knuckle-dragging, uh, you know, uh, gear pimps. Like, man, you buy this camera, you can be shooting hookers. I mean models. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> you could be doing that, but you won't make any money doing it. No. Because those chicks definitely don't have any money. And uh, there is so much saturation in the photography. I mean, here's the most important part of this video, and you better listen to this shit really close. The market for photography is saturated up to the right here. Saturated. Saturated. Just like the internet saturated with porn, internet's also saturated with softcore. Well, I need that stuff for my portfolio. You know, it wows people. 
fine. You find the hot chick down the street that's friends with your wife, and you take some awesome pictures. You go out to a scenic place. You take a few of those to pad your portfolio with, and then you take some real pictures showing your ability to do lighting control. Because while the half-naked chicks might impress somebody, what really impressed, like, man, look at that. You made that, like, a Chinese widget look like something I really want to buy. That's where the money is. The market is saturated with the half-nakedness, okay? I got nothing against it. <whistles> yeah. <laughs> nothing against it. <laughs> but that's not where the money's at. Okay, thank you for watching. This is a video of honesty and truth. If you like this video and drop me a buck or two, tell me to jump off a cliff, uh, tell me to go uh, wrestle alligators, whatever tickles your pickle or whatever makes you happy. Thank you and goodbye. Uvidimsya, as the Russians would say. Or to